you guys it's sarah welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all doing amazing today you guys i am here with three dollar tree diys i have not done a dollar tree diy in quite a while but with all of the new dollar decor stuff out i wanted to share with you guys some easy ways that you can spruce it up make it fit your decor and also make it look like it's a little bit more than just a dollar I absolutely love the way that they turned out and they're really easy to do. So I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And if you guys like videos like this, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's get started on DIY number one. For the first DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how you can bulk up these letter boards. So you're going to need one or two of the Dollar Tree letter boards that are out right now in the picture frame section. You're also going to need one package of rulers. Two come in a pack, so that's all you're going to need. It's a good idea to get some of the Dollar Tree sandpaper so you can sand down the rollers. I'm using this white chalk paint that I already had. You can find it at Walmart or AC Moore. E6000 or hot glue or a mixture of both like I'm going to do. So let's get started. We're going to take our rulers out. These, ruler, these rulers are amazing because they're real wood. So they're easy to paint. They're easy to use, but they're not super thick. So I'm going to go ahead and start by measuring out how long the rulers we're going to need. So I want it to be like to look as natu like naturally wooden as possible. So I'm just going to measure it out and then we're going to go ahead and cut it. So this is just going to give it that picture frame look I could not find a picture frame at the Dollar Tree to fit it so I thought why not make it and then paint it so we're going to use one of these little hand saws the Dollar Tree does have one that's a little little bit less quality but it still works so that you can cut it make sure you take off those plastic bits because I left them on and it made it a little bit harder so once I have the wood cut to the size that I needed I'm just going to sand it down I'm going to do this all the way around for all four of the sides and then we're going to go ahead and paint them So once you have the wood cut to the sizes that you're going to need, you want to take the metal backing off of the letter board just so that you can have the letter board part stick to the wood. So we're going to use some white chalk paint to paint the wood. You can use whatever color you want. I'm also going to be mixing in some black to give it that distressed or weathered look. It makes it look a little bit more old and not as bright white so I definitely would recommend doing that or you could even stain this wood if you want to make it like into a darker color so I'm just going to be using the black acrylic paint from Dollar Tree to distress mine but there are so many different possibilities you could do with this and I'm just going to do that for all four of the pieces of wood Once your wooden pieces are dry, you're going to want to grab your glue gun or some E6000 glue and we're going to go ahead and glue it. So I did one over and one under so that it all looks like it connects. The paint helps to hide it a little bit so you don't want to use too much glue so that it seeps through. You just need a little bit and because we're not going to hang this on the wall, you, don't, you know it doesn't need to be that sturdy. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue down my wood pieces making sure not to have too much hot glue. Next, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to hot glue the letter board right to my wood. 
if you want to allow your letter board to stand up so it's a picture frame you need to have some type of backing so I'm just using this bookend that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a mixture of E6000 and hot glue I'm sure you could use an old picture frame if you want to use that backing this was really easy and it just stood up maybe paint it black if you want it all to match but your girl didn't really care because nobody's going to see it <laughs> um, yeah so what I want to say about the letter board is it's pretty decent quality it's not the best if you want to be able to write out a saying you need to get two of them because there's not enough letters to do anything like of you know of size of girth ew <laughs> that's our new word but um yeah to do this saying love you to the dollar store and back I needed two packs of the letters but this was really easy it didn't take any time at all and when you put it on a bookshelf it looks so much more substantial and I would definitely recommend to try it out because it only costs two dollars so let's move on now to DIY number two So for the next DIY, you're going to want to grab one of the Dollar Tree summer signs that say Tiki Bar on it. You want to make sure that it has the three slabs. We're using the same white chalk paint and then some of these Dollar Tree letters that you can find in the stationery section. You want to make sure that you get both styles of letters as well. You're also going to want to use some scissors and as well as some twine, some of the jute twine. And then you are going to need a little bit of a hand drill, a screwdriver, something to make holes. So let's get started by deconstructing this sign. We're going to use just the boards. And I'm going to sand it down first because there's a lot of sparkles and I want to be able to paint over top of it. So using some of the Dollar Tree sandpaper allows you to get all of that glitter off and to give you a smoother surface to work with. So next up, we need to drill holes into these little planks of wood. This was probably like the most intricate part. And believe me, the drill I have is from Ikea. It's nothing special. So just using, um, putting all of the pieces of wood together allows for the drill to go through. So it marks each of the boards so that all of your holes are even. And then I'm just going to flip over the one board and do the same thing for the other side so that when my holes are, so that like the holes align. This is really, really simple. So now that we have the holes put in place, we're going to go ahead and paint our boards. I'm using the same white chalk paint. Chalk paint is amazing because it dries really fast and it's very thick. So when there's words and letters and pictures, it helps to cover that up a lot better than acrylic paint so it's like more forgiving I would say so we are going to distress this baby up like I like to do so I'm going to be using a mixture of the black acrylic paint and I'm just going to be using some of the white some of the black distressing it and then I do like the black and then I go over it with the white and it makes it look a little bit more worn and weathered All right, you guys, once the planks are dry, we're going to go ahead and string our twine through. So I do, I did a little bit of painter's tape at the end so that I could get it through the hole. You might want to burn it or do something, but um, putting a little bit of tape on it worked fine. This way you can get it through the hole a little bit easier. We're just going to go ahead and start with the bottom plank first. We're going to put it through the one hole and then put it back around into the other hole. We're next going to go up to the middle plank and we're going to do the same thing, this time going over instead of under. So then I got another, the other end of the twine ready, did the tape, and we're doing that on the same side. And then at the top piece, we're going under inst instead of going over. Because this jute twine moves, I used a little bit of just black very thick duct tape to hold it in place you could use a little bit of hot glue as well this was a must because if you don't do this then it moves and it shakes so this holds it a little bit more secure so now it's time to put on the letters i used one set of letters for the words home and then i used the other set of letters for sweet so this is really easy you do need two packs of the stickers to do home because it's not enough letters and then you only need one pack of the stickers to do sweet So this sign is just an idea. You could write anything you wanted on there. I think that this is really, really cute and it can go from summer into 
fall and you know all the seasons and plus it's black and white and I've been obsessed with black and white lately I love black and white I think it goes so well with every style every type of decor and then I added just like one of these little cute little flowers to the top to spruce it up a little bit so you could put this on your front door you could put this in your kitchen I think this would look really really cute anywhere and it looks so much better than that tiki bar sign I think it's way more versatile than that tiki bar sign so you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below so this last DIY is so easy. I wanted to share with you guys how I repurposed these Dollar Tree houses. You're going to need three houses. We're going to go ahead and start by painting them all white with the same chalk paint that you guys have seen me use throughout this whole entire video. I, can, I like white. I don't know what to say. I'm just like paint it all white. Paint everything white. I did the same exact steps for all three of the wooden houses. I used two of the taller ones. No, actually two of the shorter ones and one of the taller ones. So I'm going to start with this taller one and I decided to use some leftover fabric that I already had. This was a terrible idea. You might want to use paper because you could see the Mod Podge through it, but we made it work. I cut out this si the size of the inside of the house and then I'm just going to place my fabric inside using a mixture of Mod Podge and hot glue. Once I got right up to the top, I just used an X-Acto knife, knife to cut it. Now for my favorite part. I saw this on uh, Instagram. Somebody took this sign off of a old Dollar Tree sign and they used it in their decor and I was like I have to do this. So I did the same exact thing. I took it off. I hot glued it onto the into the middle of the house and then I'm just using some jute twine to wrap around to cover up the holes that were previously in the sign. This is so stinking cute. I also added a little bit of flowers to spruce it up a bit. For the third and the final house, this is probably my favorite one because I've had this picture from the Dollar Tree for quite a long time. So it was like these little stacked animals and it goes perfectly with my kitchen. I took it off of this farmer's market sign that I've had from the Dollar Tree for quite a while. All I did was just pop the little suckers off. One did break, but we're going to make it work. On the third and final house, I just hot glued it right into the middle, and it looks like it was supposed to be there. It looked like it was meant to be there. Now we got three little farmhouse houses. Because they were so white, once I was already done, I decided to paint two of the tops black, and I think it makes it pop a little bit better. So you guys can let me know. Everything I do, guys, is trial and error. Like, I never have... An idea of what I'm doing if you guys can agree let me know leave a comment down below do you guys have like a clear plan or are you just like a make it work kind of DIY person but I think the black and white is totally my style it looks really really nice and I think it all goes really well together and then of course you can do pops of color if you wanted to so when I saw this idea on Instagram I absolutely loved it and had to try it for myself so you guys, those are my three Dollar Tree farmhouse houses. I hope that you guys got some ideas and inspiration from this video. If you guys liked it or if you guys like the channel, consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up. If you guys made it to the end, you are a real one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave the word star in the comment section down below. Here are a few from my previous video. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me if you guys did not see my last dollar tree haul i will have it linked right here on the screen and i will see you guys super soon for another video bye you guys